good evening, Janine. Well, the report is bringing up a lot of different emotions for different community members. Some are calling for accountability, while others say it's forcing them to relive the trauma from that day. Uh, it's one that is never, ever, ever will be forgotten. Scars from June 6, 2023 can still be felt as a time of celebration turned into a time of chaos when shots erupted outside Huguenot High School's graduation ceremony at the Altria Theater. My heart does go out to everyone that was affected, especially our students. Wednesday, community members finally got to see the third party report reviewing Richmond Public Schools handling of the situation. It's a report that wouldn't have seen the light of day if it wasn't for a judge ruling in favor of CBS 6 and the Richmond Times dispatches lawsuit against the district demanding its release. You stood up for what's important and that is for the community community to know, to be in the know and have the transparency remain intact. Michelle Williams says she struggles with feeling like the school district was trying to hide the findings of what happened that day. Why did it take so long? Why did it have to go through these measures? We as a community have a right to know what all took place. She is questioning how the school district can regain people's confidence. The individuals who oversee, they need to be held accountable. You put your interest into an organization just for them to mishandle. Other community members like Charles Willis with the United Communities Against Crime say people have been coming to him saying the report is forcing them to relive an upsetting day. This is like a rehashing of the trauma happening again. Sadness, extreme sadness. Tamika Jackson Smith, who is the mom of Sean Jackson, the Huguenot graduate that was killed is reacting to the report. She issued a statement saying, my heart is hurting right now because my son's name doesn't deserve to keep being ripped up like this. He can't even rest peacefully. He truly worked hard for his diploma and nobody is saying that. These details may give more clarity surrounding the tragedy that took place that summer day. But community members say there is still a long way to go to get to a place of closure. And as a result of this report being released, Richmond's Trauma Healing Response Network has been activated, and that is a resource for anyone struggling to get counseling and other needs. You can learn more about that resource on our website at WTBR.com. In Richmond, I'm Maggie Marshall, CBS 6 News.